Once the full moon crowned the night skies, I felt a strange presence in the dark mist. A moment later, we could hear a sinister and demonic whispering carried by the wind. Our torches were almost useless, as if the darkness was devouring everything around us. We could barely see each other, even though we were sitting close enough to shake our hands. The sudden dusk seemed too unnatural. I've never seen something like that in my whole life. I knew that something wasn't right. We all did. And the growing fear was there to confirm my doubts. We have to get mobile. Right now. I gave out an order to form a line of people, as that was the best way to walk in this complete darkness. And that dreadful feeling growing inside me as we were walking back to our base, not knowing if something will get us. You could hear people breathing around you, and you could feel your mates holding you from the behind. But you could see nothing. Can you imagine that feeling? That was certainly my worst experience so far, and probably the longest and the darkest night in my life. A few hours later, once we got back to the base, I went to report the missing of our general to my captains. Somehow, they were already aware of the problem and made me pretty confused. They were all slightly worried and silent, grouped around an unfamiliar figure. I heard a strange and new voice, cold but determined. Though I could not see its owner, I went closer to the campfire to see what was going on. Before I could say anything, she stood up and looked straight at me, with her sharp eyes. I was stunned by her simple gaze and went completely speechless. Her presence was astonishing, a tall and graceful but strong body, barely protected by any armor. She had a white and pale long hair and was holding a long and beautiful bow in her right hand. She was slightly taller than all of us and probably a lot more powerful if she could have had a chance to show off her skills. After an eternity of the awkward silence, she turned her head to my captain and asked, Is this the guy who was in charge of building the last tower? I felt ashamed for a second, as my attitude was indeed pretty pathetic. I somehow got enough courage to tell her a simple, Yes, I am. A second later, she was standing near me, and told me so that only I could hear her words. I want to know everything, right now. Follow me. Once we found a lone and silent place, she introduced herself. She could see in my eyes that I had recognized her name immediately. She is among the best rangers that we have, and was probably invited here to search for the missing general. This was talking a lot about her, about her great marksman skills. If it's true what people say, she can shoot the wings of a fly from a mile. I did not dare to ask for the confirmation, nor was I able to tell anything else. After she gave me a brief moment to put my pieces together, I explained her everything. I told her about our construction mission, about the final general's order, and, of course, mentioned the strange whispering that could be heard. At the mention of this last thing, her eyes grew wary, and the air around us got colder. She asked me if I could repeat the words, but I could not. The demonic language was completely unknown to me. If it's true what you say, I am afraid that our friends are lying dead somewhere, not so far from your last position. She told me these words and went back to the campfire to give out the final orders to my captains. A moment later, she was no more. We were all standing there, looking confused, as if someone erased our minds. I did not know what to do or where to go. I am really hoping that she is going to find my friends, even if they are dead. What if the same creature attacked my brother and sister? Are they alive? If yes, for how long? My friends are all looking at me, hoping to see at least a small piece of hope, cornered somewhere in my heart. I could not tell them anything, as I was trying to find my own courage to sleep through this night. But let's face it, there is always hope, and even the darkest night can't last forever. Right?